How to become a web front end developer in 2024? This is the beginner's bootcamp. And here I will take you by the hand from zero to hero. So let's dive right into it. By the way, this is just a sample of what you will get on my course on Udemy, become a web front end developer 2024 beginners bootcamp. If you wanna have the full version, head to my description link, request a coupon on the comments and I'll hook you up. Let's start with our first module, installing basic software. <laughs> What tools do professionals use? Well, first of all, a computer. Maybe that sounds obvious to some people, but some of you are reading this maybe in your phone or on a library computer. So if you want to get serious about web development, it's better to invest on a desktop or a laptop computer. And you can be running on Windows, Mac, or Linux. But for the purpose of this course, we're gonna be using mainly Windows, we might be uh, giving you shortcuts and things like that when it comes to Mac, but it will be mainly in Windows operating system. The second thing you might need, it's gonna be a text editor. This is to write the code. And for text editor, we're gonna be using Notepad++, and then we're gonna change to Visual Studio Code so we become more professional in questions of coding. Ready to transform from a complete beginner to a skilled web developer? Welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide and become a web developer in 2023. My course on Udemy is your passport to mastering web development with ease. Designed especially for beginners, this course covers the essential pillars from HTML, PHP, JavaScript introduction, Angular, and the real roadmap you need in 2023 to become a web developer. But that's not all. What sets this course apart is the inclusion of the FB system. What is the FB system? It's a full bootcamp in seven steps. This system is your guide to understanding, memorizing, and implementing the code effectively. Say goodbye to confusion and hello to confidence as you navigate all the complexity of web development. Moreover, this course isn't just about learning. It's about becoming career ready or job ready. Equip yourself with sub after skills in PHP for dynamic web applications. Learn to implement crucial user authentication, making your projects not just functional, but job ready. And by the end of this course, you won't just be fluent in web development languages, you'll be equipped with secure opportunities in the field of web development. Increase the chances of being higher and step confidently into the world of web development. So don't miss out on this transformative journey and roll now the ultimate beginner's guide in 2023 become a web developer in 2023 so don't waste more time click on the link on the description and enroll right now web browsers which web browser are we gonna use well to test the code we're gonna be using mainly chrome and graphic editor Graphic editor, you can use whatever you want, but we're gonna be using uh, sometimes actually on the internet, canva.com, and we might be using also GIMP, since it's a free uh, graphic editor. And that's gonna help us make images, graphics for your web page. Now, one thing that is very important when you're coding, it's called version control system. This is a system to manage files on servers, collaborate on a project with a team, you can share code and assets, and avoid editing conflict. So we're going to be using Git and GitHub. We might also need an FTP program. What's an FTP program? 
We'll see that later, but it basically it's used on older web hosting accounts to manage files on servers. So we might be using FileZilla. But don't worry if you don't understand what I'm talking about. Don't worry, we're going to cover that later on. Now, libraries also are very important, frameworks, etc., to speed up writing common functionality. A library tends to be an existing JavaScript or CSS file that provides ready role functionality for you to make use of your code. A framework tends to take this idea further, offering a complete system with some custom syntaxes for you to write. And there are a bunch of more tools besides that. But what are the tools that we actually need right now? For now, just concentrate yourself on getting Notepad++, Visual Studio Code, 